I'm here today to talk about the Bob and Brad C2 Percussion Massager. Welcome to the Ageless Runner. I'm Ralph. So full disclosure, this video is sponsored by Bob and Brad. However, these are my opinions, my input on this percussion massager. They had no input into this at all. So I've been using percussion massagers for about four years now and really like them, enjoy them, think they provide a lot of benefit. But before we jump into talking about the C2, let's talk about why you might want a percussion massager, why anybody might want a percussion massager. I think there's really two reasons. Reason number one, of course, is massaging tired, aching muscles, either from a workout or you know a run or lifting weights or working in your garden. It really helps with that, achy muscles, tired muscles. It does a much better job than your hands or a foam roller. Uh, you know, the percussion massager allows you to focus on, on your, your spotty areas. The second reason, most people don't aren't aware of this is to do it before your workout. In other words, use, there's some research to suggest that using a, a high RPM percussion massager before a workout can help with DOMS, delayed onset muscle soreness. So using, so using it before you run, before your workout, wake up your muscles, get, that, get them stimulated, get that blood flowing, could provide some benefits post-workout. Now, the one disadvantage of a percussion massager is this thing is going to cost you about $100. Some cost even $200. That's a lot more than a foam roller, a lot more than your hands. But I think the cost is well worth it. In my experience, having used these for several years, provides a lot of benefit. And I happily paid whatever I paid for my Ekron when I first got it. This is $100. That's, not a, that's a pretty good price for a percussion massager. Again, at the end of the video, I'll talk about links and discount codes and things like that. What I thought I'd do today, as I said, I've been using percussion massagers for about four years. I actually have two other percussion massagers. I have a full-size mas massager. This is the Ekron B37. And then I have this small mini massager from Hydragun called the Atom. I thought I would try to compare the C2 versus these because these are kind of like opposite ends of the spectrum, full-size versus mini, and talk about the C2 and how it compares to these two other massagers. So if you look at, at a visual of, of the three massagers lined up there, you can see the C2 kind of fits in the center, and, and we can see that when we look at a, a parameter of the weight of the units. The Ekron full-size weighs about two pounds. On the other end, my Hydragun Atom weighs about 1.2 pounds. Well, the, the, the C2 fits right kind of in the center. It weighs 1.5 pounds. So maybe a little closer to the Atom, but it's kind of in between those two. Now, there's really three parameters you want to think about in a percussion massage to be aware of. That's RPM, how fast the head oscillates in and out. Uh, penetration or stroke length, that's how far the, the head goes in and out of the body. And then the third parameter is called stall force. That's really an indication of how much force is impinging on your body. And we start with RPMs. The max speed of the C2 is 3,200 RPMs, which is also the max speed of the Ekron and the Atom. So there's no difference there. That's a very common max speed in percussion massagers. There's more differences in the minimum speed. The minimum speed of the C2 is 2,000 RPMs. The full-size Ekron goes down to 1,400, and the, the Atom, the minigun there, is about 1,800. Uh, so there is some difference. The, the Ekron and the C2 all have five different speeds you can choose from. The Atom's only three. So you get a little more definition speeds with the, the C2. It doesn't go quite as low as the full-size. Uh, you know, lower RPMs are better for tense muscles. You know, if your muscles just tense, you want that slower speed to, to relax them. Um, and I, I rarely use those low speeds, but it, it doesn't go as low as some of the full-size massagers, but I think 2,000 is probably more than adequate for tense muscles. So next parameter is something called stall force. Imagine if, if the head's oscillating in and out and you want to stop it from oscillating, you gotta put a force on it. So the stall force is how much force would it take to keep that head from oscillating in and out. So it's kind of a measure how much force it can impinge upon your body. Now my Akron is a full-size massager. Full-size massagers can have stall forces from 40 to 60 pounds. My Akron's in that range, it's 56 pounds. It would take 56 pounds to cause it from oscillating back and forth. On the other end of the spectrum, my Atom is only 18 pounds. So again, the C2 is kind of in, in the middle there. It, it has a stall force between 35 and 40 pounds. So a little closer to the full size, but not, not as much force uh, against your body as a full size massager. The third parameter I mentioned is stroke length or penetration. How much to go in and out? Again, my full size massager is 12 millimeters, which is just a little less than a half an inch. 
The C2, the Bob and Brad C2 and the Ekron are both eight millimeters, about a third of an inch. So it doesn't quite penetrate uh, as much as a full size massager. Now I think that's, those are important distinctions to understand the less, the less uh, stall force and less penetration is you can hurt yourself with percussion massagers. And what I, what I mean by that is bruising. When I first got my Ekron, I, <laughs> one day I got up and I had this bruising on the side of my leg. Well, here I had pressed too hard on it, given its, its high force, its high penetration. I had bruised myself. Well, I've, I've been careful since then. Uh, so you can actually hurt yourself uh, with a percussion massager. That doesn't mean you can't hurt yourself with a C2 because it's still putting, you know, 35 to 40 pounds of force on your body, you know, a third of an inch in penetration. You can still do that if you're not careful, uh, but it's less likely to happen than a full size massager. So let's talk about the heads that come with it. The, the C2 actually comes with five heads, which is a lot. My Ekron only came with four and my Atom only came with three. The most common head that all three units have is this spherical or this ball head. That's the most common one that I use most often. You know, these heads just, they just fit in with a friction fit. They just pop in there and then you pull them off. Pretty easy to change them out. Yeah, I find the ball head works wet, best with all of my muscles, pain or tension, whatever I'm, I'm trying to address there. So the ball head is most common. Now both the Ekron and the Atom and like my C2 come with, I call it a bullet head. It's a very narrow uh, tip. It's really good for a spot. Uh, massaging, you know, maybe have a, a sore or a knot in your muscle and you want to just focus on that. That's where the little bullet tip comes in. They also also come with a flat, I call, they call it a flat head. It's not really fat, it's flat. It's got a slight curve to it, a very large radius. This is very good if you want to use it over your clothes, you want to massage over your clothes. This is also the preferred head if you want to do a massage before your workout, before you run. That flat head allows you to get those big muscle groups, uh, wake them up, you know, vibrate them really quick and wake them up and get that blood going through there. I use the flat head for that. Another common head, it comes with my Ekron, my full size massager, but not my mini massager, is the fork. And the fork is used for straddling, say, your spine and your neck, where you want to get muscles on, on either side of that, the spine, but you don't want to really uh, use it against the spine. I, I'd recommend not vibrating percussion massager over a bone or a joint. It's just you're going to risk hurting yourself and it's, it's just going to jar you too. So the fork is very good for the spine or the neck. Now the fifth head that the C2 has that none of the other massagers have that I have is something they call the air cushion tip. It's actually slightly flexible. It actually has a slightly flexible head. And so I, I assume what that does is it dampens some of the penetration, some of the force, yeah, which would be good for a more sensitive area. If you have a, a sensitive muscle, something that's maybe bothering you a little bit, you want to massage it but don't want to do something as vigorous as the ball head or, or one of the others, this does provide some dampening. So it's kind of a unique head. I've never seen that before. It's kind of a unique feature. Um, I've used it a little bit and, and it's kind of cool. I, I kind of like it. So as I said, the C2 has five speeds. It really turns on on the end here. You just press the button. Hold it for a few seconds and it starts. You can see there's a light there. Every time you press it, it goes up another speed, all the way up to five speeds. If you want to shut off, you press and hold the button for two or three seconds and it shuts off. Pretty easy to operate. Uh, the lights here on the end are the battery. If you got all four, all four lights, you got 100%. Each light's roughly 25%. So if you can down to one light, you got maybe 25% of your battery power left. This thing charges with a USB-C cable. It's got one has got a USB-A, which plugs into your, your power supply, and the other end is USB-C, which plugs right in the end here. Now it does not come with a power supply, but you know, if you're like most people, you've probably got a bunch of them around your house. And depending on you know the, the amount of output in your power supply, it takes about about three to four hours to charge this up from a dead battery, but it's supposed to work for about three hours. Now, the C2 is like most other percussion massagers, there's a chip in here that limits its use to 10 minutes. They don't want you in the percussion massager world using it for more than 10 minutes, risk bruising yourself or hurting yourself. So if it, if it lasts three hours, it's 180 minutes, you get 10 minutes of charge, you could roughly use this 18 time, 18 10 minute massages before you would need to recharge it, roughly. So let's talk a little about noise. This is, this is a fairly quiet massager. It's not too loud, but I want to compare it to the others. So what I'm going to do is turn each of these on at the highest speed. I'm going to hold it about 12 inches from my microphone here and you can hear the C2. Again, it's not too loud. I'm talking to you. I assume you can hear me. It's not a problem. So it's fairly quiet. This is the Ekron full size. Uh, maybe a little noisier, but not a lot. So you can see the C2 might be a little quieter compared to full size, but uh, not too bad. Now my Hydra gun is the quietest. You know, it's, it's pretty quiet. It doesn't make a whole lot of noise. 
Um, so the C2 is a little noisier than, than the Atom, but uh, again, I, all three of them are fine. If, you know, nobody's going to tell you to go in the back bedroom if you're going to use that massager. And the, the, the one, none of them are that bad. So what else comes with massager besides the five head? You do get the charging cable. It comes with a manual. It's got, it's got a few exercises in it, and it's in multiple languages. There is a page in here uh, regarding the warranty, as I uh, may have, have not mentioned, but the warranty is for one year. There is contact information should you have a problem, your phone number and email address uh, to contacting the Bob and Brad company to get any assistance you may need. Another thing that comes with it, I, I, there was this, there were these little gaskets, grommets that come in here and, and, and I, I didn't know what they were for. So I actually emailed them and said, hey, what, what are these little grommets or gaskets for? And what they are, they are replacements uh, for the ones on the, on the, um, on the heads. Each head has like a grommet or a gasket on it. I don't know, maybe they can come off and get lost or maybe they can get torn or, or, or ripped. Uh, I just don't know. But they give you two spares, one for the fork and one for that go on any of the other four. So it does have some spare gaskets should they be needed. My Ekron does not have, my Ekron also has some gaskets on it, but it did not come with spares. Uh, and my uh, Adam does not have little gaskets on it. They've got something designed into it to, to give that friction fit. And of course it comes in a nice carrying case. It's kind of like a uh, linen kind of feel to it. Very nice, very robust. Now another thing that's kind of interesting about these two is the grip. Now I said the Ekron, the full size is kind of heavy. My wife doesn't like to use this as two pounds. And one thing that occurred to me as I look at it, if you look at the, at the grips on both of these, the, the Atom is kind of a small grip, but it's a mini massager. But you notice they're round, the cylinders are round. So you notice the C2, this is oval. And so it's much more comfortable in your hand. This has kind of got a rubberized grip on it. Uh, my Ekron has a rubberized grip, uh, but this Atom is just an aluminum tube on the outside here. So it's not quite as comfortable. Uh, so this feels very comfortable for holding. Um, so it, it, they did a good job on the ergonomics. So as I said, the workmanship on this seems very, very good, very top rate. I, I have an engineering background in, in product design, not, nothing like this, but I would say this is well built, very sturdy, feels good in the hand. You know, when, you, when you shake it, nothing rattles inside. So I think they did a good job in, in designing and building this product. As I said, there is a one-year warranty. The contact information is in the manual. It's also on the box. If you, if you keep your box, it's got phone number and email on the box also, should you have a problem. So where does the C2 fit in as far as percussion massager world? So I have this full-size one. Now, I, the advantage I see the full-size one, even though you're more likely to hurt yourself because it has so much force and penetration, it works really good on big muscles like my glutes. I really like the full-size massager on my glutes. It gives me the best relief, the best massage on my glutes. But are big muscles and you're less likely maybe to hurt yourself on a big muscle like that. On the other end, the Atom is really good. It's, what's really nice about the Atom is great for travel. You can throw it in a suitcase, throw it in a carry-on. It works very well for travel, but it does not a very good job on big muscle groups, but it's really nice and handy and lightweight and do that. So I kind of see the C2 kind of fitting in between those two. It's got enough force. It does a pretty decent job on my glutes, not as good as a full size. And it's not so big that it's cumbersome to travel with or to take with you. So uh, so I think it kind of fits in, in the best of both worlds. In other words, if you were, say you want to custom massage and you have none the c2 is a good choice because it's it it, it it does a good job with force good job with penetration and it's not so big that you can't take it with you can't travel with you can't use it in your living room while you're watching tv or anything like that so it's a good happy medium in there and, and i would recommend it I, I really like it i'm excited to have this uh works well uh, the only, and it's not a negative, just that observation is why do they supply extra grommets? There must be an issue with these grommets either coming off or tearing, uh, but they do give you two extra. So I, I've not had an issue, not seen an issue, but there are two extra grommets. It must, they must have had some issues in the past with that. So if you like this, there'll be links down below to the product page. You can only buy this off Amazon. <clears throat> There's also a coupon code down there. You can get a little money off if you'd like. Uh, it's really up to you. It's a good massager, I think. So as I said, I've, I've been using massagers for several years. I like them. They provide a lot of benefit. I, I use them. I don't use them every day, but I use them every week. Uh, so if you're, if you're interested in one, I would recommend the C2. Uh, it's, it's one I think would, would do well for you. So thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like icon. And if you're new here, I'd love to have you stick around. Please hit the subscribe button also. Thank you again and happy running.